It is still possible to get the Unity 7 desktop session in Ubuntu 17.10, despite the desktop being unsupported and end of life. It pretty much works, but let's take a look at it, how it is nowadays. So all you need to do is type in sudo apt install unity. It requires about 27 meg of archives and uses an extra 78 meg of disk space. And once the install is complete, simply log out, select the Unity session, and log back in. And we have one hideous looking choice of colour for the Unity launcher. Yuck, so I'm going to go and change the background straight away. So we'll be happy to see that this looks very familiar so far. Anyway, let's take the London Eye, seeing as I was in London yesterday. Hmm. So we can still change the launcher size. Yep, that works. Back to 48. The behavior, so we can have the menus in the global menus or local menus. Visual effects. Mm -mm. So yeah, that's a bit basic at the moment. But let's try high. Nah, that's better. So let's get some applications open, see what it looks like. So that's Nautilus with the global menu. LibreOffice. Again, with the global menu. The heads up display working. Yep, about LibreOffice. Yep, that's good. I'll take a cute application now, Kate. Yep, global menu and a heads up display. Let's change the appearance and go to the local menu, see how that looks. Yep, LibreOffice works. Nautilus. Mm, doesn't really. Okay, so that's a GNOME specific application. Uh, let's try Kate. Yep, that works. Let's try Rivenbox. Well, that works, okay. It's just Nautilus it doesn't then. Okay, everything there looks all well and good. However, there's one thing that is missing. The lack of icons in the top right hand side there. So if I close Clementine, that should appear there as an icon, and it doesn't. Now not all applications have that feature, but that does appear to be something that is not working. Another one is Simple Screen Recorder, that doesn't work. So any application that runs a small icon in the top right hand side of the screen doesn't appear to work. There's the Alt Tab Application Selector, that, that all works okay. One thing I've just noticed, I can't seem to have two copies of Nautilus open. Doesn't want to open a second one. Opens a third copy of Kate easy enough. You can access both the legacy and the new system settings. One is called settings, the other is called system settings. There you go. You can't seem to have them both open at the same time though. Well, that's not too much of an issue really. You still seem to have the weird size icons in UT. Well, that was an issue from before. Don't see that ever getting fixed now. So that was a look at the Unity 7 session running in Ubuntu 17.10. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.